Now let's go through and practice really quickly on making this website responsive. So this is our Google replica page. This is the one on my local computer, as you can tell by the path. I have my files open right now in Sublime Text 3. And I'm just going to go in and just make some quick changes. So let's go and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we have everything working properly. So I'm going to inspect the element, pulls it up in the mobile view. iPhone 4, that's fine. Refresh. That's okay. But something's not quite right. If I uncheck this and I shrink the page, it looks really different. These two are not matching up. And the reason they're not matching up, I have a hunch, is because Meta Viewport is not included. So let's Google Meta Viewport W3. We'll go back to this page. We'll copy this meta tag. Go back to our code. And we will just put it right under this meta tag. And we'll save it. And let's see if that fixes that issue. So I'll refresh. Go back to responsive. Yes, okay, and that fixed it. So now we actually get to see what it looks like, and that is not very good looking. So this is what it looks like on an iPhone 4. Let's see, iPhone 5, not much better. iPhone 6, slightly better, mostly because it's getting wider, right? iPhone 6 Plus and wider, about the same. And right, so what we need to do is go in and make changes. So I'm gonna start from the top down, just makes it a lot easier. So let's get off of this mobile view. And I'm going to take this screen here and I'm just going to scroll it over. What scrolling over does is it allows me to see where it starts to break. So actually, the first break is in the footer. So you can see a break right there. So we need to fix that. And it also breaks right there. Okay. Let's fix that one first. So it goes 474. All of a sudden, the image does not fit in there. And even further down, the share button does not fit in there. So there's a few things you could do here. You have some choices. So as a designer, and ideally you'd already have a designer there working with you, or maybe you are the designer, and you have to decide, well, what should I do with this? Should I edit it so that the image is bigger, so that it's different, it's on a separate line? Um, should I move it somewhere? In a lot of cases like this, for one, the image is really small. It's not tiny. On a web page on my computer, I can see it. On my phone, it's going to be so small, I'm going to have no idea what that is. So I already know I just do not want to display that image at all. So let me just inspect the element here on this image. And an easy thing to do is just pop this window out. Much easier to go ahead and see what's going on. Oh, good, it has a class of profile image. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. What did we say it was? 474, okay. Go to main.css. We'll do at media max width 474 pixels. Now remember, that's right before it breaks. That's not on the break. That's right before it breaks. And then we're going to do dot profile image display none. So it's just not going to display anymore. This is what a lot of people do with mobile development. On a desktop, for a website, there's normally a lot more going on. With mobile, there's a lot less. You don't want all of the same exact things that are on the website to show up on the phone most of the time because there's simply too much going on. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And there we go. It disappears. And we shrink it, and it stays gone. Now that share button also we need to fix it. So let's find out what we can do about this. There's a few options as, again, again as well. We could inspect this, see what's going on here, how we have padding and margin. We could simply reduce that. Now this is kind of interesting because we have padding and margin all around the UL tag. Now we could simply remove that, see if that helps at all. Helps a little bit. All right, so we're shrinking it to 400. Again, I'm using a really wide screen so it's not actually gonna let me see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and inspect the L. Oh, I can actually just click it right here, the mobile view, and I'll refresh. And I want to go smaller. I'm going to go to iPhone 4. I think 320 pixels, you don't need to worry about devices that are smaller than that. Not many people use devices that small anymore. 
All right, so we actually have two issues going on here. We have the bell as well as the share button. If we wanted to, we could simply remove these and just keep these three up there if we wanted to. That'd be a really easy fix. So let's actually go ahead and do that for now just to keep it simple. However, if you were going to go one by one, you could simply go and inspect the element and see what is getting affected. So this one float right, that still works. Li, we could simply get rid of that margin on the right, shrink it a little bit more, get rid of the padding. It all fits in there, it doesn't quite look right. The other thing we could do is keep the padding, change all the font text. You can just change the font size to say 11. Well, this is not where it changes, so let's go ahead and click on the A tag. Is that going to change it? That will change it. So we could actually do it like that. So let's go ahead and actually add these rules in there that I just made. Luckily, I don't think I made too many where I'm going to forget them. Let me shrink this and just make sure it's matching up. So, and we'll keep it at that same exact point, actually. Let's just keep it at 474. That's fine with me. So we'll do asterisks, which means everything, font size, 12 pixels, and we'll save it. And we also changed UL nav margin right zero. Save that. And I believe we also changed something on the L. Yes, we changed margin to zero all around. Let's just change ul.nav li. I bet we can just do margin right zero. Margin top is probably fine. It's probably not affecting it. So when we refresh, it's all working. There's a little gap here, so I might shift it around. I might have to dive a little bit deeper, but I think this is really good enough for right now. So I'm pretty happy with this. And let's make sure it looks okay on other devices as well iPhone 5, yep, iPhone 6, yep, again, we're going to need to center it, but that's fine. You can even keep it to the right. I mean, it's really just a design choice. That's what it always comes down to with responsive. When you make a site responsive, you have to make these choices and figure out, well, what actually will look good? And that's going to be really subjective. So we're going to move down here a little bit, and this is clearly way too wide. Even at 414, let's figure out where it really breaks. So let's get off of this mobile view and just stretch it out a little bit. Wow, okay. I'm thinking just right around 750. I'm happy with shrinking that. So let's inspect it and see how much we could shrink it. All right, so we have hmm, 600 pixels. What if we did 50%? Now that looks even better. And what percentage is going to do is it's going to keep it a particular width the entire time as we shrink it. So let's actually increase that a little bit. Let's do 70%. There we go. Now that'll look good on a mobile device as well. We could probably even do a little bit more if we wanted to. Yeah, we could do 80, 80, 75. So let's go ahead and add this rule. Oh, but again, we need to do it at that exact mark that we wanted to do it at, which was about 750. So let's create a new media rule. I'm just going to copy this whole thing. But instead, I'm going to change it to 750. And I'm going to add in dot search box input with, let's go with 75%. And I'll save it. Let's go back and take a look at our page. Perfect. So then when we inspect it, we refresh with the 6 plus, looking good. Looking good, I mean this whole thing is kind of interfering so we're going to have to fix that. Looking good still. And on the 6, it looks good as well. Okay, perfect. So the next section then is this right down here. Here's when we can make a few choices. So one, we could get rid of everything, or we could just get rid of one of the lines. We could shrink the text like we did at the top so it all perfectly fits in there. 
we could also center both of them. That's an option. So we can just center them exactly. Now, if I was really going to go and design this, I would actually probably increase the size of this, probably shrink these really small. But again, you'd have to just test it out on the phone itself to see if it's even clickable. Because if you lay them all next to each other, these are actually going to be really hard to click, lay next to each other just like this top section. On a phone, that's really tiny. It would be really hard to hit accurately with your thumb. So what you probably want to do is either center them or just get rid of an entire section. So let's do a little bit of both. Let's first find out exactly where it breaks. So we can do it there. Okay. Okay, so let's do 595. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to copy this, add a new media rule for 595. Get rid of this one right there. Then I want to inspect the element. So what I want to do is, I actually want to center this UL and then I want to get rid of the one on the right. So let's first get rid of the one on the right. That'll be nice and easy to do. Let's do dot right. Again, we'll use display none and we'll save it. Refresh and it's gone. Perfect. In fact, I bet floating it right would even look fine at this point. To be honest with you, if this is floating right, that's probably what I would do. But let's just figure out how to center this really quickly. So float center doesn't work, so that's not going to be an option, right? So instead, what we could do is margin 10 auto. And we'll do width. Let's do 80% maybe. And we'll get rid of the float, the padding left. Maybe even mess around with this. Maybe 60 is good. Let's see how that looks. Well, we might have to add a few rules to it. Might just have to mess around with it a little bit more. 70 might be the ideal number there. Again, a lot of this is adding multiple media rules. So a lot of people will say that it's good just to have three rules. Maybe it breaks at like 991 and 778 and 661 and 400 and whatever. I see like people choose three or four to have breaks on, that's not what you want to do. What you want to do is have as many breaks as you need for the page to look good at every single size. Otherwise, what's going to happen is some new device is going to come out and you're going to have to go into all of your websites and make them all look responsive for that particular device, which believe me, you do not want to do. So let's go ahead and mess around with that real quick. So we are at 595. And what size do I like in 595? Let's figure this out. Let's go to 60. I like 60. I think that looks close enough. So let's do UL left 60%. Do not forget to add in the margin 10px auto. All right, so when we refresh, Oh, we forgot to take off the float left. So ul dot left, we'll just do float none. We'll refresh and there we go. Okay, so let's keep shrinking the page and see the next time that it does not look so great. All right, it's already starting to kind of mess up. That's Well, that's the real breaking point right there. Let's do it a little bit sooner than that. Let's do like 680. Let's do 680. cool thing is we can just pretty much copy and paste the same exact thing the only thing we need to change is the width so let's see when the width would look good again so let's do 70 here maybe there we go so 70 is looking a bit better we can shrink it and it'll last for a little while so let's do 70 there we'll save it starting to look a little weird again Maybe 416. You know what? Let's actually go in and look at our mobile view. All right, definitely broken there. Let's look at the 6 plus. Definitely broken there. 
if we increase it, I'm going to bet that 475 looks just about right. And that's actually where we changed the rule right there too. So let's go ahead and test that right there. So we'll change this to 475. And because it's lower, we're actually going to put it to lower number. So we're actually going to put it right below this. Ooh, we have 474 right there. Let's actually just copy and paste that right in there. All right, then we can just get rid of this media rule entirely. Okay, let's check it out real quick. Let's do iPhone 6 Plus, refresh. Looks okay. And we're at 414, iPhone 6 does not look okay. So, let's see when it looks good as we're shrinking it. Ooh, it really breaks right around 395. So let's do it at 395. You know, it might as well be 400 just to make sure we have that siding really done right. So we'll just create another media rule. We'll do 400. And we'll close it. Copy this again. Let's just guess real quick. Let's just do 80. Save it there. See how that looks. All right, looks good on the iPhone 6, which is 375. See the iPhone 5, which is 320. Doesn't quite look right. So let's drag it out a little bit more. 360 looks like the magic number right there. So again, we just go down the line, adding media query after media query until the page looks good as you drag it across the entire screen. So you want to be able to drag it across and have it look good that entire time. Because anytime a brand new device comes out, you don't want to go back and recode the whole thing. Let's refresh. And that looks pretty good. What is that, the five? No, that was, that was a little bit before that. Okay, so the five is at 320. So we need to do one at 350 as well. This might even just be a case of just a little too much margin even just kind of going around. Well, let's, let's figure this out. All right, so let's do 90. You know what? No, that doesn't quite work. Let's do 90 at 350. So, yep, we'll add another one. We'll do 90 and we'll save it. And then we'll refresh with the iPhone 5. And it's working. Let's do the iPhone 4. And this is working too. We have a little gap here. It kind of sticks out. All right, and that doesn't quite look right, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about that for right now. So all these other devices look fine. So that's basically how you go in and make a website responsive.